Thanks to Google. But I don't care. Um, we will end this. In this video. Please wait while Dome initializes. One, Dome Overload. Is this the good ending? Hmm. We'll see. Two months later. Okay, at least we are still alive. So I guess um, that was the good ending. Okay, I don't know. I will make a bonus video where we'll see the other endings. Um, the bad ending. Well, the other ending, apparently. Okay. Um, and I will also show something else, which I will not, um, which we will see in the bonus video. Okay, that was Techno Prisoners. I hope you liked this Let's Play. Um, I hope you liked this game. I never, this is the first time I ever completed this game. I only played the demo, as I already said in the beginning. Um, didn't play much of it. So. Of course, the question is, is it better or worse than what I expected? To be honest, um, I think this game has actually a lot more death than I would have initially um, assumed or even given credit. Um, I found it was quite interesting in the way in which it Immerses you. Okay, this sound effects are a bit loud here. I will have to edit that. I like the fact how you are really thrown in. Okay, this is something I probably explained about in the beginning. You're sort of thrown into this game with no to little little to no explanation of what you have to do or where to go. You only know okay, you have to get the matrix crystal. Um there's no much story exposition. So I thought that this was actually part due to the laziness of the developer, but actually the game does expose a lot of a lot of story, um, at least for a shooter. But it does so by providing you text logs that are actually not um, as forgettable like in say Doom 3, but it's really just okay, this is the code to this. Locker, there is some ammunition in it. No. In Techno Prisoners, the text logs actually provide you with the story. With, not just with the story, but also with the essential hints in order to complete the game. So it really feels like you are discovering piece by piece um, that you just saw where you could have used the floating disc before. The game provides you with piece by piece with the storyline and because you discover these text logs by yourself it really feels that like you are you are figuring figuring things out it's not like the game okay you've done that and then there's a cutscene and the game just sh shoves the story into your ass okay that's so this sort of anarchistic um it's really Free world, open world, it's, of course today it's sort of a cliche, but this anarchistic open world um, idea, I think it really worked really well here. Of course this game has some issues, um, but overall I think it, this game 
is really interesting and innovative. Um, and it should not have been forgotten. It should not have been forgotten as it has been. Uh, as it stands now, this is the only completed let's play of this game on YouTube. So it... Yeah. Nobody cares about this game. Or very few people. Yeah, I think I said everything that I wanted to say. Again, I hope you like this let's play. I hope you... Why the hell am I breaking into prison? Uh, despite the fact that I hit this... This was a blind let's play and I... Was not... Um, this was not optimal in many ways. Great. Yeah. The loony bin. We will see ourselves hopefully in the bonus video and in my next let's play. So until next time folks, until then.